Hello everybody and welcome back to Stray Gods. Um, we are not starting on the main menu because I'm actually just rolling into this recording um, right out of the first one. Uh, so we're just still on the pause screen here. Uh, but we're jumping back in. Uh, we talked to Apollo and got his help. We talked to Persephone and got her help mostly, even though I didn't feel too great when I was trying to persuade her. She, we're just waiting, so we're back in our apartment with Freddy, and we're just waiting for Persephone to come up with a grand plan. Right now, it seems like our only option, or like main suspect, could be Pan, but I don't really think it's him. I mean, maybe it is, but I don't know. Uh, I'm looking really quick, uh, just through, like, the journal. So... So, it's just about the characters. Okay. So, we'll hop back in. And maybe we'll find, this is where in Act 2. So, we'll record through Act 3 and we'll see if we can uncover even more mystery or if we maybe we'll find something out. Worried about me? Oh, Well, you're my best friend in the whole world, Brace. Plus, you know, what would the band do? <laughs> Right, the band. Where are Kaz and Brian anyway? I told them you were fine, which isn't a lie, because technically you are. <laughs> now tell me everything that happened. Huh. Persephone runs a club called the Underworld. That's a little on the nose. I wouldn't suggest saying that to her face. And you ended up staying with her instead of Apollo? I don't know, Grace. She sounds a little volatile. <laughs> Oh, she's she's got her reasons. I just hope I don't end up on her bad side again. You'll figure your way out of it. You're still you. I am still me. That's true. So what are your options? You need to go back to Persephone at some point? I could go back to Apollo's as well. Make sure he's not sore about what happened. Oh, and uh, there's this. Pan left a card. Says, come by Olympus. <laughs> I doubt he means the mountain in Greece. Literally just spoke I with just him. spoke to him at the underworld. If he wanted something, why didn't he just talk to me there? Because he's creepy and wants to get you alone. <laughs> Still not a fan? You know how some people just set your teeth on edge? That's Pan. Yeah, probably. I can't right. help it. But it doesn't matter. I said I'd help, and that's what I'll do. You can count on me, Grace. Thanks, Freddy. The muse! Oh, the embodiment of inspiration! Can you believe it? <laughs> Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so she's saying I should go talk to Persephone or go see what Pan wants, but I want to talk to Apollo. I kind of feel bad. So let's go see how he's doing at his beach house. <laughs> uh, Grace? Yeah, told you she'd be back. <laughs> What are you doing here? When you stayed with Persephone, I thought that... Well, I didn't expect to see you again. Sorry. I thought I'd check in on you. The way you left. Well, it was quite the scene. Ah, yes. That. I want to apologize for my outburst. Being around my family brings out the worst in me, I'm afraid. It's why I avoid them whenever possible, and why I should have resisted getting dragged into all this. Apollo, everything you sang about still applies, even if you got angry. I know. We all make mistakes. You pick yourself up, and you try again, for Calliope's sake. I'll... I'll think about it, Grace. I promise. For now, you're in far better hands. I'll hold you to that. Don't think I won't. I just wanted to make up with him. I felt bad for leaving him on the way that he left. Let's go talk to Persephone, though. Let's go here, 
And then if it still lets me, we'll go talk to Pan afterwards. Oh, back already, are you? It's just as well. I've asked around, called in some favors, just enough to get an idea of what all the idols are currently up to. Much as I'm loath to admit it, I'm back to thinking Pan may be our prime suspect after all. You should know. Pan asked me to meet him at Olympus. I'm not sure why. Should have asked oh, the questions first. Did he happen to say what he wanted? No. He uh, probably wants to cash in his favor. Huh. That's what he does. Collect favors and then use them to gather even more favors. To what end, I dare not guess. Maybe that's what went wrong with Calliope. A favor she wouldn't repay. Or something she'd discovered and refused to conceal. That would be just like her. You should go ahead and see what Pan wants. It might be useful. Just throw caution to the wind, huh? <laughs> Somehow you'll manage. I want to send you to a party, Grace. One Aphrodite is holding. She and Eros know Pan perhaps better than anyone. If you go, it'll give you a chance to find out what he's really up to. Why a party? Couldn't I just go wherever she lives and ask her? You could, but if you go to this party, she'll be grateful. She holds it from time to time and always asks Calliope to attend, but Calliope never would. You can put two and two together. A grateful Aphrodite might be willing to tell you what Pan is really up to. You know Aphrodite better than I do. Can't you talk to her? She and I don't get along. Like how you and Apollo don't get along? <laughs> Even more intensely than that. I once said some things about her husband. They were true, but unwelcome. Suffice it to say, if I showed up at Aphrodite's party, revealing Pan's secrets would be the last thing on her mind. I still have that invitation from Pan. Maybe it'd be easier if I just went to see him. You should do both. Just don't believe a single word coming out of his mouth. I might be able to coax some truth out of him. I can be persuasive. Hmm. A battle of the silver tongues, I'm sure. One wild party with a goddess of love coming up. It's less of a wild party and more of a somber affair. You mean like a cocktail party? Let me put it this way. Apollo will likely be there. Gotcha. Expectations of fun downgraded considerably. I'll let you know what I find. Let's just talk to Pan first. Because I really like Aphrodite, but I want to I want to save her for last. That's kind of cool looking. I'd say hello, Grace, but I'm afraid that look on your face might be catching. I just... What is this place? It's a garden, darling. Surely even mortals have them. This building. All those people I pass getting up here. Are they all idols? Well, at least some of them. Welcome to Olympus, dear Grace. Our home hidden away in plain sight. Marvelous, isn't it? How many idols are there? I've met, what, less than 12? Oh, I don't know, 20, 30. Our numbers have dwindled so much I've stopped keeping track. I didn't know there were that many gods. We're not all equally legendary, it's true. Some idols were barely worshiped, others not at all. Indeed, not all of us are idols. Some are merely immortal. Hangers on, if you will. You'll meet them all. Given time. Idols live here? I mean, Calliope didn't, obviously. Apollo doesn't either. One must have special dispensation from Our Lady of Wisdom, Athena, before they can take up a private dung heap like Apollo's. <laughs> Am I going to have to give up my apartment? <laughs> That's rather putting the cart before the horse, darling. First, you must outlive the weak. Right. Good point. I've passed this part of the city a hundred times. I've never seen this building. Was it always here? 
or... Our Lady Hecate provides glamours that allow certain things to go unseen, such as my glorious horns. Olympus is the same. Those invited see it. Those who aren't see exactly what they expect. It's not anywhere as grand as in the old country, but it, it serves its purpose. I don't know, Pan. Olympus seems pretty grand to me. As if mortals would know any better. This isn't the first time you've been here. I'm sure Hermes took you to Athena's dreary office. Uh, that's here? Huh. Good one, that Hermes. Almost as dull-witted as the original, but biddable. <laughs> you asked me to meet you here? I did, I did. Though I feared you might decline, considering your rather callous rejection earlier. Regardless, my pride is intact, as is the favor you owe me, which I now wish to collect. Fine. But just so you know, I'm not doing anything that's against the rules. I already have one trial coming. Grace, baby, Bulbula, <laughs> have I ever <laughs> led you astray? Not yet. Here's the thing. A friend has begged for my help, and you're far better suited than I to offer what he requires. I'll give you a key to reach the reliquary where he resides. You help him, and then we're even. If that's not enough incentive, the reliquary is also where you'll find the lovely Hecate. A sorceress of her power could aid your quest. What do you say? This person I'm to help. What does he want? And why can't you do it? Well, Grace, there are some things you're better equipped to handle than I. This, as I understand it, is a delicate matter of the heart. One that requires a muse's hand. A matter of the heart? What, did you think I was sending you to rough someone up? Set something aflame? Don't be absurd. <laughs> the man has an issue with his love life. Even if you can't help him, I'll treat the effort as worth the favor. What is this reliquary? Doesn't that have something to do with the bones of saints or something? <laughs> Not those relics. Our relics. The relics of ancient gods. Magical treasures collected over thousands of years. Books, mainly. We store them in a faraway place so no one unsavory can get their hands on them. Unsavory like you? Unsavory like most. <laughs> Athena has decreed that these relics are not to be used by any save Hecate and herself. A rather dull waste of so much amassed knowledge and power, but who am I to judge? I'm not leader of the chorus. If these relics are off limits, does that mean they're dangerous? Some. But I'm not asking you to chase after any of that nonsense. In fact, I'd advise against it. But what if one of those relics could help me? <laughs> my, my, such an adventurer you are. It's possible, but ask Hecate first. She, and I mean this with complete and uncharacteristic seriousness, is not an idol you or anyone wishes to cross. So that's it? Fix up someone's love life? Nothing trickier than that? Oh, the way you talk, Grace. It makes me blush. Well, it's just that... I trade in willing favors, Grace. If I didn't, no one would want to do as I ask, and then where would I be? I may seem untrustworthy, but allow me to reassure you. If I wish you harm, you will walk into that harm knowingly. And with open arms. Ooh. That's exactly what someone untrustworthy would say. It will not take you long to learn, dear Grace, that among the idols, there are fewer truth tellers than there are liars. Truths can be hard, after all. But deception? Deception is as boring as it is simple. This Hecate, do you think she could help me? 
if she's of a mind. She is the goddess of dark magic, the creator of all our marvelous glamours. If anyone can help you, it is she. And if she's not of a mind? Then she won't help you. Grace, that part is up to you. I can't be expected to do everything, can I? I'll think about it. But no promises. Marvelous. The gentleman you seek is named Asterian. Lovely fellow, quite harmless. I'll send a package to your domicile that contains directions and the key you'll need to reach the reliquary. I said no promises. Well, if you decide to go, Grace, you'll still need all those things. Say hello to darling Hecate on my behalf, will you? Stray Gods and uh, Baldur's Gate 3 crossover because of Asterion. Alright, let's go to Aphrodite's party first. Catch back up with Apollo. Fancy party? Check. Bunch of strangers? Check. Grace totally not dressed for the occasion? Check. Now, if only I knew what I was supposed to be doing here. Grace? You're here. Yeah. I'm invited, aren't I? I'm just surprised you even knew it was happening. Persephone said I should come to this. Whatever this is. Persephone didn't tell you? Uh, why am I not surprised? I came to see you, Apollo, and I don't recall you mentioning it. Persephone said it could help. You don't have any of Calliope's memories, right? No deja vu recollections that aren't your own? No. Should I have? Not right away. For a while, you won't remember anything. We call it the veil. In time, the veil will start to lift, slowly at first, but eventually you'll remember almost everything Calliope did. Seems like the sort of thing you should tell a new idol. New idols are usually chosen. You would know about this already, except... Except Calliope was murdered. Well, remember how old we all are. There are so many memories, so the veil lifts gradually to protect you. Eventually, it's like a flood. It becomes difficult to separate what's you and what's them, and all who came before them. You're saying I won't be me. I won't be Grace. <laughs> Will I start calling myself Calliope? Maybe. Eventually, m most of us do. But most of us were chosen and prepared. <laughs> and I didn't choose this. I understand. Take some time to let it sink in. If you like, we can talk about it later. What? What does this have to do with the party? Aphrodite hasn't been the same since we came to the New World. She has horrific memories of what she endured during the war. Passing on her Eidolon is a way to forget for a while. That's what this party is for. When you say she's gonna pass on her Eidolon, you mean... She's going to die, yes, and pass her soul on to a chosen successor. In front of everyone? We're here to help, Grace. To make it easier for Aphrodite to do what she feels she must. We're here to say goodbye. At least for a while. This isn't the first time Aphrodite's done this. She's held this kind of gathering before, right? This is her fourth, I think. Perhaps fifth. So every time the veil, whatever you call it, when it starts to lift... Aphrodite's memories return, and eventually it is too much. We gather to pay our respects, and to honor the past. While well, she still remembers it. Do you support what Aphrodite is doing here? It's not my choice to make, Grace. Yeah, but you must have an opinion. Eventually you will remember what we experienced during the war. 
and eventually you will remember that what Aphrodite experienced was far worse. If this is the mercy she requires, I will not tell her she should not take it. Wait, wait, wait. Persephone said Calliope always refused to come to these parties. She refused on principle. Everything Calliope did was on principle. She believed Aphrodite was indulging her sadness, wallowing in it. She thought Aphrodite should try harder. It was a point of contention between them. Aphrodite will be grateful you're here. Trust me. I mean, I don't think the idea is great. Um, I just... I don't know, Apollo. I don't like the whole idea. You want her help, don't you? Yes, but... At least speak with Aphrodite before you make a final decision. She's not here just yet. Until she arrives, I suggest... Mingling. Mingling. Yeah, mingling. Talk to Eros. Or we can talk more if you like. Just try to relax, Grace. Sure, yeah. She just relax. That's what this party is for, right? <laughs> just because of the memories. Let's go talk to Eros first. Because Aphrodite is her his mother, technically. Grace! Hey, Eros. Nice to... Uh... <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Aphrodite will be so happy you're here. It means so much. You have no idea. Are you okay? You seem a bit... Every time she does this, I don't know how to handle it. I almost want to run upstairs and demand she stop. Remind her that this never works. <laughs> Sorry, I... Shouldn't unload on you. It's 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 been a bad week. Hey, hey, I understand. This can't be easy. She's the one who is suffering. I shouldn't be complaining. I just hate this. I, I'm there every day, going through it all with her. The, the nightmares, the panic attacks, the, the weeks when she just won't get out of bed. I'm, I'm there when she forgets the war's over and I hold her until the screaming stops. Me. I do that. That sounds awful. And now I'm arranging her gathering again so she can die again. And I'll watch it all again. Is it okay if I ask what happened? I don't mean to pry, but I'm new. I, I really don't know. No, it's okay. I wouldn't usually talk about it, but I know you don't mean any harm. What happened is that brother Ares happened. He missed out on the first world-spanning war, you see. So he was damned if he'd miss out on the next one. He found some jack-booted mortals so full of themselves and their supremacy. And he told them about the idols. Then they came for us. Took us completely by surprise. Some they killed, but Aphrodite. Her they captured. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Aphrodite was captured, but she's here now. So she must have escaped. She didn't. Do you know the name Hephaestus? No. Should I? God of Smiths. He could make anything, any tool or weapon. He was Aphrodite's husband. And he adored her. When he found out the mortals were torturing her, he went mad. He was determined to save her. Wait, they tortured her? Nothing extreme. I'm told. They were too frightened, but they were also determined to wring every last secret out of her. So, 
who knows how long that fear would have lasted. Thus, Hephaestus made a deal. With the, um, jackbooted guys? No, with their enemies. That's what saved her. Then this deal is how Aphrodite survived. It's how we all survived. It's what brought us to the new world. Hephaestus saved us all. We never saw him again. That was the deal. He would leave, make their precious weapons, and never look back. Aphrodite never even got to say goodbye. It's funny, because Aphrodite didn't even like Hephaestus when they were married. She seemed to resent every minute they were together. But now... Now he's all she can think about. Is there no other way? Does Aphrodite really need to... To die? I've asked that so many times. She's tried magic, drugs, psychotherapy, meditation, everything we could possibly think of. But for a while, she'll deny anything's wrong. It all seems fine, and I start to hope. Maybe this time will be different. Then the nightmares begin, and the memories return. More with each passing day until... I hate it, but I see her agony. I can't deny her this. Maybe I just don't understand, but... Isn't this... like, suicide? Some of the idols have committed suicide. They let themselves die without passing on their idol on. What happens? What you'd expect. They're gone. Forever. Mother says she can't do that. She won't. Not until she sees Hephaestus again, I suspect. Not that what's happening here is anything casual. She... She still has to die. For a while. You sound like you don't approve of what Aphrodite's doing. What I want is for her to not hurt anymore. What I want is for this to end. She'll ask you to use your power as part of the celebration. Could you use it to inspire her? I can't force anyone to do anything they don't want to, Eros. That's not what I'm asking. I believe that deep down, she doesn't want to do this any longer. She must see it isn't working. She just needs the strength to... to try. Or I hope that's all she needs. I'll try, if you think it'll do some good. I don't know if it will. I just find it hard to believe it could get any worse. Huh. Famous last words. <laughs> Tell me about it. Do whatever you think is right, Grace. And... Thank you. Let's go see if Apollo has any more words of wisdom. I know all these people, Grace. For as long as I can remember, I've known them. Yet sometimes I feel like I don't know any of them at all. Or they me. I spoke to Eros. He's pretty broken up over all this. Oh, poor Eros. Each new successor, his hopes rise up once more. And then he watches the new Aphrodite crumble. Piece by piece. Only to start all over again. It's so different from the olden days. Once he was the eternal disaster. And Aphrodite kept constant vigil over him. Maybe he feels like he owes her. I think he's followed her into a dark void and somewhere deep down believes he deserves no better. You don't enjoy these family gatherings, do you? Are they family gatherings? Like the sort mortals have? You call each other sister and brother and mother. <laughs> well, yes, but... And you've been together like a hundred times longer than I lived with my family. All you're missing is a drunk uncle everyone has to apologize for. Um, that would be Pan. 
But yes, I feel very much out of place. Why is that exactly? Wouldn't you feel more like you belonged after a thousand years together? Is your assumption that all those centuries bring great wisdom? Don't they? We get older. We have more to forget. We hold grudges longer, but wiser. No, not so far. I should get back out there. Wow, she's got a horribly sad story. My family, having you all here, gathered once again to see me off, it moves me more than I can say. My loves, my darlings, my dearest friends, and you. Oh, my dear sweet thing, I dare not hope that you, with all your troubles, might sing me to my sleep. Yet here you are. Yet here she is. Huh. It's lovely to meet you, Aphrodite. Properly, this time. Ah, yes. Poor Calliope. Such a loss to us all. I shall miss her dearly. To have come so far, only... No, it doesn't bear thinking about. <laughs> it's too much. Is this Grace, my lady? The new muse? Oh! What manners I have. Grace, Grace, meet the lovely mortal woman who shall tonight become the new me. Hi, my name's Venus, and yes, it really is Venus. Nice to meet you, Grace. Yeah, hi, and nice to meet you. We'll both be new at this, huh? Maybe we could uh, get together and compare notes if you, uh... Survive my trial? Yeah, Lady Aphrodite told me... I shouldn't have brought that up. I'm sorry. There will be so much time for you lovelies to speak later. Now, we must prepare for my departure. Are you sure we can't talk first? I really need your help, Aphrodite. I know you do, my dear. I wish I could be there for you, but I'm afraid my time is up. But since you've shown such kindness in coming, I will ask to make himself available to you afterwards. There's nothing I know that he does not. He is my son, my truest friend, my longest love. Won't he be... a little distracted? Eros has been through this before, Grace. He knows what must be done. I just want to say... I'm really sorry that this happened to you, that you need to do this. A babe in our dreary world, and yet already possessed of such earnest purpose. Hmm. Weren't you opposed to this, Grace? Apollo! Oh, you've come after all! You look remarkably well, cousin. I've had a great deal of time to prepare. I assure you that would not be the case. <laughs> As for you, Grace, have you gathered the true purpose of tonight's gathering? To ease your suffering? To forget about what happened? An escape into the soothing blackness. To swim in Lethean waters, at least for a time. Does it help? Each Aphrodite before me begged for mercy. This is all I can do for all of us. Even so, tonight is not about the pain. It is about honoring the memory of what was while that memory still persists. Go, enjoy the gathering, Grace. Tell me when you're ready to begin. <laughs> I 
back again. I don't think I'll have a chance to talk to Aphrodite. Not before, you know. Not surprising. Surely Persephone must have realized that. How? She's never been to one of these things. Anyway, I'm not sure what I'd do now. You have two choices, Grace. Either you do as she asks and sing her to her rest. At which point Venus won't have Aphrodite's memories yet. Or you somehow convince her to remain with us and hope she's grateful. And doesn't regret it. Or get angry at me for ruining her party. Do what you feel is right. It's a risk either way. I should get back out there. Thanks, Apollo. That's not helpful at all. I want to apologize again, Grace. I really messed up. It looks like I'll be doing that a lot. Lady Aphrodite said I'm ready, but I don't know. Don't worry about it. My foot has been lodged firmly in my mouth since this began. <laughs> it's a relief to know I won't be the only one. If, if I can ask, what does it feel like after it happens? Do you feel different? I'm not sure. It happened so fast, I didn't know what to think. Calliope died and then all this happened. You didn't remember anything? About her? Who she was? She was just gone? Yeah. Isn't that the point of all this? I just wanted to be sure. Sometimes it doesn't seem like it could be real. Are you really okay with all this? You know what's gonna happen, right? I saw a lot of people in crisis at the shelter. I knew something was wrong with Lady Aphrodite. She's in so much pain, Grace. She won't let you see how much. Errol's called me one night desperate. She wouldn't stop screaming. She didn't know where she was. She... She's a good person, Grace. A good soul. She deserves mercy. Your name's really Venus, huh? Everybody asks me that. Even the other idols. Maybe that's why Lady Aphrodite noticed me in the first place. She says it was fated to be. I say it's because my mama was a diehard hippie. <laughs> How do you know Aphrodite exactly? <laughs> so I was working at this homeless shelter, right? a couple of years ago and she came in with one of the older residents and she was there in this like amazing dress and she's sitting with this guy and really listening to him like they were old friends or something i just thought what is someone like her doing in a place like this so i just went over and introduced myself that's it just like that <laughs> yeah she came back to the shelter a few times, but by then, I guess she'd taken an interest in me instead. But don't you feel this is wrong? I mean, you're ending your life. It's like some kind of murder-suicide pact. I don't think of it like that. Lady Aphrodite is not committing suicide, and I'm not being murdered. Aren't you? Your life is ending. It's being taken over, swallowed up by Aphrodite's grief. I'm becoming part of something bigger, something amazing. Or maybe you're right, it'll be terrible, and I'll end up in so much pain I'll regret it. So why go through with it? Because Lady Aphrodite needs me. Maybe, just maybe, if I'm added into the mix of all the people she's been, maybe things will be different. All right, let's see what we can do here. I have tried so hard, fought for so long, but in the end, 
I must bid you all farewell once again. But before I go, I would like us all to remember the sacrifices that brought us here to this strange new world. This time, it is with the help of our lovely muse that we shall be guided. We let them rise. We let it happen. We waited far too long. We thought we shouldn't intervene. We were wrong. We were wrong. Since the beginning we were hidden. We held court from up above. Twas the golden age of reason. And I the queen of love. But a plague of hate was spreading And there were vultures standing by Before we fell to our knees begging We fell from the sky We let them rise, we let it happen We waited far too long We thought we shouldn't intervene We were wrong we were wrong. We had revelry and rebirth. A family right. all together. Till 13 million marching men cut us down forever. But Brother Ares made it happen. Joined their war without dispute. Once mighty immortals are just mud under a boot. We let them take our loved ones. It's what they wanted all along. We thought they were beneath us. We were wrong. We were wrong. I see you have the power. It's a poisonous reward. only scorned me when I was once adored Loved by every mortal Then ripped from paradise No one suffered greater Till he made his sacrifice The man that I ignored Saved me I fell. Yes, the husband I abhorred rescued me from hell. I thought it was a joke when it was said to me. He struck a deal with our enemies. Enemy made a secret weapon, so my captors let me go. Gave up his freedom, leaving just a memory. And this love I'll never know is what he gave to me. I can see everything. It's interesting why you feel so blue Because of the horror show from long ago There ain't no getting through A husband who sacrificed and paid the price For you to be free Wherever he is right now You'd think somehow that <coughs> Excuse me Sorry, I'm on a roll I don't <laughs> pretend to know the mind of a god <laughs> That's something I never thought I'd say I'm not the only one here who wants to know He's leaving now the only way to go I'm confused, who are you? Thank you for sharing, little one You're 80 years overdue Now take your seat, you've had your fun I think you'll find I'm a god Making note of the staggering lack of help And so no matter what you think you know 
This ceremony is the only way to go. Aphrodite, I know just what you mean. The pain has brought you so low. There's no end in sight. I'm thinking maybe do we find having more people will help. Mother, is it true? You've chosen to live. I, I have chosen to live. I'm so sorry, Venus. I made you so many promises, dearest, and I won't be able to keep them. My lady, all I ever wanted was for you to be happy. If this is your wish, I'll be with you at every step. I as well. Always. I hope none of us regret this choice in the days to come. But thank you. This is the only way you'll get through it. Together, as a family. If there's any chance, Mother, any at all, this is it. I know, my loves. I hope you're right. Now then, Grace. You needed my help. No doubt regarding Calliope's death. Have you any suspicions as to who might be responsible? Mm, I got a couple. I was, uh, thinking maybe Pan. Pan? Kill Calliope? Tish Tosh, I don't believe it. He showed up at my apartment right after I left Athena's office. He's very suspicious. You favor him too much, Mother. I happen to feel there are entities among us far more sinister. You're thinking of Medusa, aren't you? Okay, I'll bite. Why would this Medusa be involved? And why isn't she a suspect? Mother has always distrusted Medusa. She works for Athena as a watcher. She's everywhere, lurking in the shadows. If you look anywhere, Grace, start with her. Come now, Mother. It's time you rested. It's been a long night. Hmm. If I don't, I suppose you'll both gang up on me again. Hmm. Very well. So, did they have anything helpful? Maybe. What do you know about Medusa? Medusa? That's a rather dark name to unearth. Are you thinking of seeking her out? I am. Do you know where she is? Not really, no. Medusa makes it her business to stay out of sight. Athena employs her as a spy master. A hound to do her bidding. A vicious hound at that. Athena's not likely to tell either of us where to find Medusa. I can't say for certain 
Who would know? Are you all right, Grace? You seem troubled. It's not like I'm supposed to die at the end of the week or anything. I'm fine. It's just a lot to consider. A lot to consider, she says. Only the nature of immortality. <laughs> a fine evening's work. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you're right. I assume you'll be on your way then? Yeah, I should probably check in. Give my regards to Persephone when you see her. Interesting. Ugh, Apollo. Always so dramatic. Well done, by the way. You may be the very first person ever to talk sense into Aphrodite. Don't joke about it. That was... It was a lot. A lot that I didn't prepare you for. I know. That too, yeah. It's not something you can prepare for. I thought this was the best way. I remember the last time I passed on my Eidolon. 1952. I was married to, uh, well, say you'd call him a gangster. More of a thug. A mean, vicious little thug. Persephone saved me from him. He tore his head clean off. But not before he fired a shotgun into her chest. My chest? Huh. Whatever. Do you remember who you were? Before? I still am her. Chastity, that is. <laughs> you can see why I switched names. Oh, I remember being disgusted I was ever that weak. And Persephone made me strong. But it never really goes away. We all have our sordid history. Our personal horrors. Building up like sediment around our souls. You can't let it bury you, Grace. You are the only one who can keep your head afloat. Okay, yeah. Good, good to know. Thanks. At any rate, you have a name. Medusa. Hadn't occurred to me, honestly. She was always Athena's creature. I never pegged her as potentially disobedient. I'll see if I can track down her whereabouts. In the meantime, Grace, do be careful. All right, let's go. This is—it's a freaking shipping container. When I opened that shipping container, I was expecting—I don't know. Rats. <laughs> uh, yeah. Instead we have... <sighs> Where the hell are we? It's hard to say. Weren't we going to some kind of library? That's how Pan described it. He said it was a, um... What's the word? A reliquary? That is where relics are kept. Like magic items. Like when we played D&D. This is nothing like D&D. Well, I don't know about you, Grace, but if a dragon came flying out of that mist, I would not be the least <laughs> bit surprised. <laughs> you are such a nerd. <laughs> Speaking of, how much do you actually know about Hecate and this idol you're supposed to help? The idol we're here to help is named Asterion. And you know who that is, right? No. Should I? <laughs> That's the Minotaur's real name. You know, big bullhead, horns, lives in a giant labyrinth. Pan did not mention that. Why am I not surprised? This Minotaur. You don't think he might be dangerous, do you? Well, traditionally he eats people, but he was also supposed to have been slain by the hero Theseus. Well, not so slain after all. Pan says he has a problem with his love life. Hmm. Maybe he needs to stop eating all his girlfriends? <laughs> Okay, I knew that sounded wrong the moment I said it. Do you know anything about this Hecate? It's not a name that rings bells. 
Mm, let's see. Well, she was the goddess of witchcraft, the really dark kind. Oh. But she's never really portrayed as evil. She was more of an outsider, lived alone, off in our little corner of the underworld. <gasps> Do you think that's where we could be? Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> oh, I bet knowledge is important to her. It could be an angle if you talk to her. I'm so glad I brought you, Freddy. I wouldn't know the first thing about any of this. Nah. Well, I hope it's actually helpful to tell you these things. Why wouldn't it be? Because well, it could all be wrong. I would have never pegged Apollo for a surfer dude with confidence issues. <laughs> yeah. yeah, good point. Fair. I mean, that is fair. <sighs> we should go inside instead of standing out here in the fog. Eh, it's more of a mist, really. A mist potentially full of monsters. In we go, then. Are you really planning on doing that favor for Pan? Meddle in love lives? Sweet talk, the goddess of witchcraft? Freddy, who are you dealing with? The master meddler and sweet talker. Damn straight. I look forward to seeing you in operation. There's no way at all this could go poorly. <laughs> Whoa. He's big. I guess the Titan thing is literal, huh? Mortals within the reliquary! Who permits this intrusion, this sacrilege? This knowledge is not meant for the likes of you. I shall grind you into the dust from whence you came! I, I am really sorry if we startled you. My name is Grace. We've never met before, but, uh... I'm the new muse. And I'm Freddy. <laughs> Big fan. If I broke a rule, I apologize. Pan didn't mention anything about that, I'm, I'm afraid. You... are... Grace? Then Calliope is dead. Is that now? I thought that was not for another 11 months yet. Wait, what? You knew Calliope was going to die? No, I am not informed of this for another 11 months and 3 days. Or I could just tell you now? That cannot be. It is written. Uh, yes, it's right here. Calliope joins Grace's band, they become friends, Months later, there is an automobile accident, and... An accident? Well, that's not what happened. Are you saying the books are wrong? They're wrong about this. Calliope was murdered just a few days ago. That is impossible. I don't know what to tell you. You will explain. We will both sit, and you will explain. There will be tea. <laughs> Curious. It is clear something unanticipated has occurred. Something outside the realm of fate. Uh, is that even possible? It is. But I must follow the threads back to their source to find the origin of the deviation. It may take years of research. Years? I don't have years! That is unfortunate. If there is nothing else, I must ask you both to leave, so I may begin at once. Is there no way to speed that up? Whoever's behind it might be the murderer. Such threads are not so easily untangled. I must consult the Moirai, if indeed they are not the ones responsible. The, the Moi what? You might know them as the Fates. They, or any beings of a sufficiently cosmic nature, have the power to undo the order of things. That does not sound good. Certainly not. They are also not beings I can summon at a whim to solve your mystery. I am sorry. Actually, I came here to speak to Asterion. If, uh, he is here. A visitor for Asterion? How strange. Oh, uh, 
Are we doing guests? Is that a thing? I, I, I didn't know. Wow, okay. Betty was right. As if there was any doubt. My old friend, this is Grace. She is our muse from the line of Calliope, and it is she who asked for you. Hi there. Can we talk? Somewhere in private? Talk? What, you and me? Uh, why? What about? You know, about a delicate matter that maybe you needed help with. Oh, no. Uh, no, no, uh, uh, nah. I have no idea what you're talking about. No delegates here. <laughs> there you have it, Grace. I believe now is the time when you leave. But <laughs> there must be some mistake. There is no mistake. Not this time. Are you sure about that? Because I'm not going. It is written. Did you hear that? Pan sends me all this way and Asterion won't even talk to us? Maybe there's another Asterion? Yeah, more likely Pan's got me chasing my tail. This was pointless. Well, I don't think we're getting back inside. Do you have another plan? I don't know if my powers will even work on Hecate, but it's worth a shot. Ooh, a musical number. Do you think this one could be... Uh, do you hear what I'm hearing? Oh, 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 you're still here. I had to run the entire... Oh, that's a long way, isn't it? Oh. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to send you away, all right? I just couldn't tell you. Not in front of Kate. Kate? You don't mean... Oh, that is so cute. I heard what you said about Calliope. I can help you. I really, really can. It, it has to be you. I am so in love with my dear sweet Kate. I, I just don't know how to tell her. Please help me tell her. Are you really the Minotaur? Like, the monster who roamed a maze and ate people? And is supposed to be dead? Uh, well, my father locked me up in a labyrinth, but I never... Oh. Ate. Oh. Well, that's good. Except Theseus. But he, he was a bellend. <laughs> Do you really call Hecate Kate? Off topic, I know, but I, I have to ask. Sometimes she has to go into the mortal world for a short time and do things for Athena. Uh-huh. And... Well, she had to make up a magic disguise, you know, a new identity. And I, uh, I thought she should give it a proper name. And you suggested Kate? Yeah, she really liked it. She said, thank you, Asterion. <sighs> <laughs> well, let me get this he's, straight. He's kind of cool. You're in love with Hecate. That Hecate. Oh, mate, Kate is... She's just the best. Like, she knows everything, and she always smells so good. Like, she's so nice to me, and she doesn't even have to be. And we got stuck in the tower together because we can't live in the mortal world. I know I could make her happy. I, I want to try. Oh, won't you help me? Have you tried, oh, I don't know, talking to her about how you feel? <laughs> I take that as a no. I don't have the words. I've tried. Every time, I end up knocking over a table or killing a cat or talking about how sometimes meat has that grisly texture I don't like. You killed her cat? Oh, no. It was a small cat. I panicked. I'm just not good at words. Right? Really not good. Okay, so you're in love with Hecate. <sighs> what is it you think I can do? A muse knows about poetry and, and the heart and, and how to make words beautiful. All I want is to ask her, but I need good words. You know, please, please say you'll help me. I do this and you'll help me in return, right? Athena made Kate swear. She's not allowed to say anything about what happens at the tower, but she never made me swear. Maybe she never thought anyone would ask. But I'll tell you. Even if Kate doesn't like it, I'll tell you. If I do this first. If you help me, any trouble will be worth it. 
Hecate might say no. You know that, right? Well, she probably will. I mean, she's Kate. And I'm me. But just once, I I'd like to be able to ask her, you know, t t to say it out loud instead of thinking it. I'll still help you, no matter what she says. I promise. I don't know. Doesn't this feel a little weird? Which part? Helping him woo her with my powers. You heard what Pan said. You can't make anyone do anything they don't want to do. You can only make them say what's in their heart. Yeah, that's the part I can't do. Okay. I have an idea. Y you do? <clears throat> well, y you do? You, my bullish friend, are gonna sing your little heart out. <laughs> Grace always has the best ideas. I'll set up a vibe and you go for it. I'm not great at words. I'm, a, I'm more of a dancer. Just speak from the heart. Be honest. He's so cute. You cast a spell on me. Not literally, obviously. But I feel in summary, you and me are meant to be. Cause you put a hex on me. You didn't do it to me directly. I'm, I'm not blaming you specifically. Just that metaphorically, shit, can someone help me? <laughs> oh. It's okay. He's okay, so what flustered. are some of the things you love about her? Hecate, with you, there's so much to love. Oh, I'm not saying you're fat. Did not just say that. Shit. Tell her something she doesn't know about herself. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, T, to me, you know you in rapture. Oh, good word. Is your pallid skin, your lips are so thin, your love of <laughs> books. Hecate is just a like, what the hell going on? I have but one thought. Why is it that you seem so distraught? Are you saying you're... You couldn't possibly. Really? Oh, you're doing great. Give it another go. You've cast a spell on me. It's a feeling that's killing me. But let's say categorically. Oh, Katie, it's just you and me. That's what I've always called you. It sounds juvenile, but that name makes me smile. I've always wanted to tell you. Anyways, as friends, I'm only a fraction of what I can be. I mean, I'll still make you tea, but don't you want more than tea? Is this what you truly wish to do? This love could easily fall through. Imagine if we ceased to be. It's a possibility. Don't you see? Oh, God, he's looking pretty bad. <laughs> Hecate, it could be this spell on me has blinded my eyes from what you can see if there's even the smallest possibility of losing you somehow i'll take it back now i'm finished could someone please rescue me <laughs> this is a disaster grace help me If you don't mind, I'll take the floor Because I feel obliged to help this minotaur He's a bit absurd, he gets stuck on a word But he flies like a bird when you walk in the door Could the love of your life be right under your chin? Well, there's no need to guess 
Yes, he's already moved in. Please understand, Grace, it's not him I can't face. My heart is a difficult place to admire. Hot coals at its core burn so many before, yet he carries this torch unaware of the fire. I'm tempted, but what you're all telling me is nothing will go wrong for it. Destiny, have you truly considered this carefully? Black magic takes a toll, and if you lose control, the cost is paid by reality. Is my heart worth everything going amiss? I cannot protect you from the dark abyss. So don't dismiss, just resist. You think that I don't know the darkness inside of me. You know the stars, but do you remember your history? I love the person I have become. You changed me. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Asterion. Kate? It seems you've cast a spell on me. You will not regret this. Not yet. It is written. You cast a spell on me. To think I shall have my own story. You cast a spell on me. And we shall write it together. Cast a spell on me. A tale of romance and glory. You cast a spell on me. But do we have enough leather? You cast a spell on me. This little story piece was so cute. Well, that was diverting. You felt this way the entire time, Asterion, and you said nothing? I didn't think I was worthy. I mean, look at me. I'm only, you know, half a man. You have been a devoted friend over the long and lonely years, Asterion. I only wish I had realized sooner we could have been more. As for you, Grace... I thank you for arranging this diversion, however it came to pass. I, I don't get it. Didn't you know this would happen? Wasn't it written? Of course it was. It was also written that I would be unaware of Asterion's feelings until he spoke them to me. But you knew that. I follow the rules. It is written. You know, there is a way to repay me. I still need to find out who killed Calliope. I fear I am oath-sworn to discuss no matters that occur within these halls. But all I need is- If there are revelations from my investigation into the abnormality, you shall be informed. Come, Asterion. I wish to speak of this further. And find an appropriate outfit. Hey, wait for me outside, yeah? How long are we supposed to wait? It's been over an hour. I'm sure it's fine, Grace. I doubt the Minotaur would break his promise. <laughs> so, what did I tell you? Whew! You still here? I'm sorry. Kate had a lot to say. Everything's okay, I hope? Oh, yeah. Oh, it was so wonderful. Kate just wanted to talk about you know, feelings and that, which, uh, well, 
neither of us are good at. Right, so, uh, I suppose you want to know how Calliope broke into the reliquary that night. She did what? No, uh, we didn't know anything about that. Do you mean the night she died? Oh, well, I, I, I thought you already knew. Uh, yeah, the, the night Calliope died, sh she broke in somehow. Thing is, we know she didn't take anything or even touch anything. I just remember the alarms, and I chased after her. Did you say the reliquary has alarms? Like, burglar alarms? Cameras? Oh, no, 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 nothing like that. It just has a lot of protections. You know, magic. I don't know magic, actually. Oh, uh, it's just meant to keep the dangerous stuff from being touched. It was set off, so something happened in the reliquary. We just, uh, don't know what exactly. How do you know Calliope didn't touch or take anything? Kate knows everything in the reliquary, right down to the last book. She's been looking, but she can't figure if anything was touched. It makes her so mad not to know. And it made Athena pretty mad too. Athena got involved? Yeah, when Kate finally told her. Athena wants Kate to keep investigating, but it doesn't look good. Athena knows what happened here the night Calliope died? Yeah, Kate told her a day or so later, I think. We didn't know Calliope died that night, though. What? Athena didn't mention it? Nope. Not that that's weird. She's, uh, well, she's not the chatty type, you know? She came in all quiet and cool, wanted to know who was here that night and what Calliope might have wanted. She swore Kate to silence. Not me, though. Guess she's not as smart as Kate. Those alarms don't go off if someone breaks into the reliquary? They don't <laughs> detect intruders? Well, uh, normally nobody does that. Well, Calliope did. She got in somehow. Well, she must have snuck in the back way. Where do you think I keep running from? Whatever Calliope did here, it was enough to set off the alarms. That's all I know. You chased Calliope, but did you ever catch up with her? Uh, no. If I'd have caught her, I'd have brought her back and Kate would have gotten answers out of her. All I know is, is that she was hurt. Bleeding bad, but I don't know why. I wanted to help her, but she got away in the fog. Then I ran into Medusa. Wait, what? Medusa? Here? Yeah. Well, she's not normally here. I think maybe she was chasing after Calliope too. What relics are there? Maybe Calliope was looking for one, but couldn't find it before... Yeah, that I'm not supposed to say. Do you have the Golden Fleece, the Shield of Zeus, the Sword of Damocles? Is it suspended? Uh, you know a lot about that stuff for a mortal. So it's all real? <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny any of that. All I know is that nothing got used and nothing got taken. How could Calliope have been wounded? I don't know. Maybe Medusa did it. Probably not, though. You know, I never saw Medusa near the reliquary, just out in the fog, so she never even got that close. So whatever happened to Calliope happened inside the reliquary? I guess. But we don't have anything that would attack anyone. Especially not an idol. So someone else. But they did it inside the reliquary. If so, they vanished after. What was Medusa doing here? She was chasing after Calliope too, I think. But she wouldn't say why. I asked. Seems pretty convenient. Her just out there suddenly. Yeah, that part's weird. I've never seen her near the reliquary before. Couldn't Medusa have broken in like Calliope did? Yeah, but I chased Calliope from the reliquary. If Medusa had been there, I would have seen her. This means Calliope came here the night she died. This is where she was attacked. But we don't know by whom. Well, this is the second time Medusa's name has come up. That can't be a coincidence. Well, she's super scary, but, uh, you know she works for Athena, right? I thought maybe that's why she was here, but Athena said she didn't know about it. <sighs> that does seem suspicious. If that's all you need, then I have to go. Kate will be so mad if she finds me gone. <sighs> Good luck, Muse. You okay there, friendo? I'm just thinking about Calliope. What happened to her here? 
Whatever she was trying to do, she probably didn't succeed. She ran from here, dying, maybe straight to our apartment. Because you were her last hope. Yeah. What if she hadn't made it? She must have known... One thing at a time, Grace. You'll figure it out. I know you will. I guess so. Next thing is to go back to Pan. Tell him his favor is done. <sighs> what an adventure. Sorry? You're just lucky, Grace. Luckier than you think. You go do what you have to, and I'll meet you back at the apartment, okay? Hmm, interesting. Pan! I hope you're here, because I don't know where else to look for you. Of course I'm here, Grace. Where else would I be but amongst the trees and the wild things? I really must thank you, by the by. Asterion is simply over the moon, and he's already repaid me with this select tome from the reliquary. That's why you did all this? Because you wanted some book? Not just some book, but a tome from the Forbidden Depths. <sighs> I doubt Hecate would be pleased. Oh, most assuredly not. Neither would Athena, which makes it all the more delicious. I trust you got what you needed. More grist for the mill of your innocence, as it were. It's quite the coincidence. The place you sent me just happens to be the place Calliope was attacked? That is quite the coincidence. You must be very grateful. Uh, it's just hard to trust a coincidence that big. You have no reason to be suspicious. I know nothing of what happened to Calliope at the reliquary. I suppose the question at the heart of this is, do you believe me? Give me a reason to believe you, Pan. Ah, you want the ever-elusive proof. <laughs> if I had that to offer, do you think I would hesitate to share it? Alas, it is my burden to be forever condemned by my idle brethren. I've become accustomed to it. Truly. I've never lied to you, Grace. And I never shall. If you're looking for innocence, however, <laughs> well... I'm afraid that's one thing I cannot provide. And if I can't accept that? If I find out you're somehow involved in this? You'll do what you do, and I'll do what I do, and we'll see where that takes us. If you're still up for trading favors, I could use more help. Oh, of course you could. You could live the high life, Grace. Throw caution to the wind. Embrace what you can before you, uh, uh, Before I die? You don't have any hope for me, do you? You're just taking what you can get before it's over. You'll want to find Medusa, I suppose. Yeah, her name keeps coming up. You'll find Medusa at a dingy little club appropriately named the Viper's Nest. Give her my regards. But do be careful if you call on her grace. Medusa is a hideous monster and should be treated as such. I feel like we're just chasing, chasing circles, though. Like, I feel like we're this not getting This must be anywhere. the Viper's Nest. Scariest part of town, no sign. Just that one dude glaring at everyone. Well, I'm here now. Just another day in the life of an idol. Oh, there you are. Man, this place is the worst. I think someone peed on me. Freddy? What are you doing here? Why does she have a mace? I thought I wouldn't notice you skulking off. You didn't even bring any equipment, Grace. Freddy, please tell me you don't think you're some kind of adventurer. Um, I'm sorry. Are you not about to head into a monster's lair at great personal peril? What else would you call that? 
<laughs> You're such a dork. I adore you. <laughs> Good, because I'm not about to let you wander in there without backup. Who knows? Maybe the stuff I know about Medusa might actually apply. Well, that'd be a switch. Okay, I'll bite. What do you know about Medusa? Uh, well, you know, she was human once, right? And she was cursed? Apollo mentioned it, yeah. Cursed by Athena. Or so one of the stories goes, anyway. But doesn't she work for Athena? Hey, don't look at me. My knowledge of this stuff stops at a few thousand years ago. She was once human, but she's definitely a monster, right? <laughs> yeah, one of the worst. But, you know, so was the Minotaur. Asterion said she was scary. I have a feeling she's not like him. Mm. Then I guess you need to be prepared for the possibility that she is as bad as the legends say. Though some of the stories also say that she was wronged by Athena and that what was done to her was an injustice. And Athena just follows the rules, right? Do you think she actually turns people to stone? Well, let's hope not, or this could be a short visit. Or a really, really long one. I'm serious! Perseus used a mirror to reflect Medusa's gaze back at her. Oh, maybe you could use your phone. You think that would work? Unless you brought a mirror, Grace, it's all you got. Okay, enough talking. Time to do this. Uh, you have a plan for how we're getting inside, I hope? Maybe. You're here to help? <laughs> Always. Then I have a plan. Hi, uh, this is where the comic convention is, right? I hope I'm not too late for the signing. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm afraid you had the wrong address. What? No. Oh, God. No. No, that can't be right. Do you understand the indignities that I have endured? The weird looks, the body odors? Someone spilled coffee all over my cosplay outfit. I, uh... No, no, do not tell me that I'll I got it wrong. I spent $50 on around. this ticket. I demand my personal photo. Start the show. Pam said to say hello. That's what he said to say. Mm. Well, any friend of Pam's is a friend of Pam's. Um, okay. I hate to interrupt your flow. There's just some things I need to know. I wish there was another one. Hmm. Yes, you do. Now, look into me. Your body goes freely every time I see its tendons turning in jelly. I see it. Mm-hmm. 
Grace? Mm. You okay, Grace? Mm. Where's the game face this time? You are currently experiencing something I like to call the preparation. Any questions or comments? <laughs> that right, it is widely known that I can turn folks to stone. But no, I won't this time. Because this time I find dine that oozy musy bloods my wine this time. <laughs> Look into me. Oh, she's looking away. Hey. Medusa, look into your own eyes. Nope. Okay, it was worth a shot. You no, know, you're not unhot. That's my opinion anyway. Don't look at me. The snakes, sure they're snakes, but you can pass them off as fakes. Like it's just a cosplay. Don't look at You're me. You're not a monster to me. I think that you should try to see Medusa yes, in another way. little girl. No more Hail Marys. The not unhot girl is you. The monster's me. You don't know, you don't know. Do know that you didn't. Kill Calliope, so you know that it's true that I didn't do it. No. Yes, you do know you know. Does that mean Athena knows? No. You think that will hurt me, child? You have not done your homework. Oh, sorry, just trying to get your attention. Yeah, I've been watching, and I'm willing to bet you can't turn me to stone before I burn your snakes off. Stand down, Freddy. Let's give Medusa some space. Yeah, okay. I'm watching her, though. Hmm. You ready to talk? Oh, fine. Fine. What exactly is it that you want, pretty muse? You were at the reliquary the night Calliope was murdered. I want to know why. Blast! This is why I didn't tell Lady Athena. I knew it would come back to haunt me. I only followed pretty Calliope to the reliquary. I never spoke to her, never even caught up to her. I swear it. That's what Asterion told us, more or less. But you were there that night. Yes, yes, I admit it. Ugh, Lady Athena will have my head. She'll mount it on a pike. Whatever you might think of me, I had no part in the Muse's death. I did not even know she'd been attacked until I saw her fleeing. Asterion. 
Asterion said he caught up with you out in the fog. Is that right? I thought he was the one who had attacked her. He is a great beast of a creature. He killed Hecate's cat by accident. But this still seems hard to believe. Yes, I only realized my mistake once I caught up to him, and by then the muse was gone. And you never found her afterwards? I thought she might flee to her pretty home, or to the sharp and prickly Persephone. She did neither. Yeah, she came to see me. Why should we believe you? You did just try to eat me, remember? I am telling you the truth. Right, and not at all trying to cover your own ass. You presented an opportunity. Oh, to taste the sweet, sweet blood of a hero once again. Uh, it, it's a problem. I've been working on it, I really have. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, what of Pan? The only reason I knew Calliope was going to the reliquary is because he informed me. So much for never lying to me. What were the odds, honestly? Let's uh, put a pin in that for the moment, shall we? I am a monster. It's true. I do not deny it. But still, I did not kill the muse. You followed Calliope to the reliquary. Why were you shadowing her at all? I am Lady Athena's spy master, yes. Calliope has been trouble from time to time. I can't so really you remember. Were spying on her. But has Pan I ever said outright he did no not kill in Olympus, Calliope? But especially Calliope. When I realized she was headed to the reliquary that eve, I followed. I had a duty to Athena. Did you ever find out why Calliope went there? I was never close enough to ask. When I drew near to the reliquary, that is when I saw the muse fleeing. She was frightened. Bloodied. Dying. Let me guess, that made you hungry. I gave chase, yes, but to discover the truth. I knew Lady Athena would wish to know. That does make sense from your perspective. I didn't learn the truth until later. And then it was far too late. You haven't told Athena any of this? Do I need to light things up again? Cause I'll do it. I, I told her Calliope was at the reliquary that night. I did not tell her I was also there. Why not? Wouldn't Athena find out from Hecate anyway? Oh, I, I was not thinking clearly. I panicked. I... Lady Athena barely tolerates my presence as it is. If she thought I was involved in any way, if she even suspected. Okay, let's say we believe you for the moment. Whatever you do, pretty muse, I beg you. Do not tell Athena of my indiscretion. Show mercy. I know what I am authorized to do. I authorize me as well. I cannot help what I am. I did not ask to be cursed like this. Indiscretion, huh? <laughs> it's quite the word for it. I cannot apologize for my hunger. I can only apologize that I am so very weak in the face of it. I'll think about it. I am a lost and cursed thing. No idol. If Lady Athena should learn the truth, I hope you find what you seek, pretty muse, and that we meet again someday and sing a different song. He knew. Right from the start, Pan knew Calliope was there that night. Yeah, and who could have foreseen that he was lying to you the entire time? Who, I ask you, a mystery even the Oracle couldn't have penetrated. Yes, yes, fine, you were right, Freddy, as always. Ha! See, was that so hard? <laughs> Anyhow, I probably have a few questions for Mr. Goatbam. I'll see you at home. <laughs> 
Would you really have tried to burn Medusa's face off with an aerosol can? <laughs> Hell yeah, one hint of googly eyes and <laughs> <laughs> What would I do without you? Uh, you'll never need to answer that question, Faith. Oh, how cute. Oh, if it isn't, uh, the lovely Grace? You knew. Right from the start, you knew Calliope was there that night. Well, yes. She asked for the key and I gave it to her, no questions asked. I told you I didn't know what happened to Calliope and that's the truth. I did not. So I nudged you in the right direction. And lied about why? I omitted things, yes. I, I was rather hoping to avoid suspicion falling my way. <laughs> I've never lied to you, Grace. And I never shall. Medusa learned that Calliope was going to the reliquary because I told her. Now, before you say anything, I had no idea of the fate awaiting our dear muse. And you yourself said Medusa was not responsible. I simply had to know if I, if I'd inadvertently, rather innocently... Sold her out? She came to you for help, and you gave her whereabouts to the highest bidder. I am trying to help Grace. In my way. What do, you, what do you mean, in my way? What is What, what way is that? Uh, the way where I don't take all the blame. What else will I discover, Pam? I'd rather learn it now than later. I wish I could tell you, Grace. I truly do. It's day five. I want to talk to Persephone really quick. Back again so soon, Grace? <laughs> You're practically a regular at the club. Yeah, I just came from a chat with Medusa and- You found her? Well, you're in one piece, so clearly my fears were unfounded. Nope, they were completely founded, actually. <laughs> Maybe I'd better explain what happened. I knew it. We never should have brought that monster to the new world. Athena is a fool to think Medusa can be controlled. You're fortunate to have made it out in one piece. It could have gone very poorly for you. I know, I know, but let's focus on the important part of the story. Which is that if you believe what she says, Medusa appears to be exonerated. And that brings us back to Pan. I don't imagine you've confronted him yet. He admitted to selling out Calliope, but not to killing her. I don't know if I can believe him. Nor I. Pan would do anything to save his own skin. Allow me some time to consider our next move. On a different matter, I've had time to do some thinking. I may have been too dismissive after Aphrodite's party. You no doubt have many questions about the Eidolon and Calliope's memories. Apollo told me a little about it. He did say I should talk to you, though. Did he now? <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to ask? When all these memories start to return, will I feel different? First, you'll have dreams. Places you've never been, people you've never met. But unlike with normal dreams, these will linger. Then they will come while you're awake. Sudden flashes or, or snippets of deja vu. And sometimes it will seem so real you'll swear you're hallucinating. If there's anything difficult about the process is that it becomes hard to differentiate between your life and all these other lives you're now recalling. That does sound confusing. Confusing and often unpleasant, as not all the memories will be fond ones. But that will pass in time. 
You said it becomes hard to differentiate your life from the others. How hard, exactly? It'll still be me, right? Oh, how do I explain this? Grace, would you say that you are who you are because of your experiences? The things you've lived and done? I guess so, sure. Well, all the things Calliope has done, and those before her, will now be yours. They will feel like a part of your life as well. Thus, they can't help but shape you. The grace that is now will be and will have done so much more. Fortunately, you don't have to deal with every memory. Each time the Eidolon passes on, the oldest memories fade, and that helps. Wait, how is it good that old memories start to fade? Think of how old we are, Grace. If all those memories returned to you with perfect clarity, they would destroy you. Yeah, but doesn't that mean you've all forgotten so much? Well, far more than we remember. The further I think back, the more it becomes a bit of a blur, actually. You'll recall important moments. Some will be mixed up with the stories mortals tell, and you won't be sure which is the memory and which is the story. An idol's memory is a series of islands in a dark ocean, and they become smaller and smaller as they recede into the horizon. It sounds dire, but you become accustomed to it. It just takes time, and now you have all the time in the world. How many times have you died? Can I ask that? We call it passing on. <sighs> I've lost track of just how many times I've passed on my idol on. A dozen? It's happened less often in more recent eras. And the one you told me about, the woman married to that gangster? She was the most recent? I don't think of chastity as a she. That was me, just as the one my husband blasted with a shotgun was also me. It was one of the few times I wasn't able to prepare my successor. We were friends, yes, but I didn't know what Persephone was, and I had no idea what I'd just become. That must have been difficult. It was more difficult taking over my dead husband's territory. Women weren't often mobsters in those days. Were you really a gangster? I've heard it said, but it sounds... Let me put it this way. I felt as if I'd been blessed by a dying woman who saved me from a prison of my own making. I didn't know what I was, but I was free. I felt more alive than I'd ever felt before and strong enough to toss an ox ten feet. Did I set out to become a mobster? <laughs> Not exactly. My husband's friends thought I'd murdered him, however, so they came after me. And one thing led to another. Oh, I see. Athena found me just as my memories were starting to return. I wasn't permitted to continue doing something so noticeable, so I was carted off to Olympus. It's too bad, really. I was an excellent mobster. Wait, you said that Persephone passed on her Eidolon as she lay dying. What if she had just... died? The Eidolon will keep us alive for a time, even in the most horrific circumstances, in hopes that there is someone to pass it on to. What if there isn't? What if Chastity had died before you were shot? Well, then the line of Persephone would have ended then and there. Oh, there are some stories that say an Eidolon will go wandering, that it never really dies. And who knows if there's any truth to that. It's not exactly something we've had the opportunity to study. All we know is that many idols have left us forever. They've died, and that's how it happens. That's a lot to consider. Assuming I'll even have time to worry about it, what with the trial coming. Either the trial will end poorly, in which case all of this is moot, or it will end well. And you will have plenty of time to digest. Yeah. Thanks for the update. I'm a realist, Grace. It's what I'm best at. <laughs> now then, unless you've something else to ask? Good God, she can tell me so much. Okay, no, not I don't really. want to keep talking to her. because will see you later, of, Persephone. That's a lot of information. We'll come back to her sometime. We're gonna go home. Oh, uh, hi, Grace. I can just call you Grace, right? That's my name. Where's Freddy? She went out to get snacks. We were gonna watch TV while we waited, but, um, well, here you are. 
waited. Were you looking for me? <laughs> All over, yeah. Athena sent me to find you, but it wasn't easy. Yeah, you must have been busy. Yeah, because I stand trial soon. Right. Right, that makes sense. Anyway, uh, I guess Athena wants to talk? I can zip us over to Olympus anytime, if you're free. So this is what you do? Fairy people around? I'm the god of messengers, baby. Travelers, doorways, any kind of transition, really. The old Hermes said that the transition part made even more sense for me, which, you know, extra cool, right? Yeah, that's true. I can connect any two doorways anywhere, just like that. So it's super easy to take people wherever. I don't mind. You mentioned the old Hermes a lot. You knew him? Yeah, I was homeless for a while. It wasn't a great time, and he took me in. Everyone's on the same journey, he used to say. Only the roads are different. And then he went on his journey. Man, I still miss him every day. Wait, isn't he still inside you? Aren't you kind of the same person now? Mm, not yet. It's only been a year. Maybe I'll feel him again one day. That'd be nice. You say it's easy, but do you like doing all these errands? Huh. Yeah, I never thought about it. It's nice to have a purpose. Athena is super sweet, and she has a big, important job. Why wouldn't I want to help her out? <laughs> you can't be this nice. Are you for real? Oh, well, the old Hermes used to say that a willingness to serve is more important than a willingness to be served. Do I have a choice about seeing Athena? I'm not in the habit of being at anyone's beck and call. I mean, I guess you could say no, but I wouldn't. If Athena wants something, she's gonna get it eventually. She had that look in her eyes, like she really wants to talk to you. She could always come here. Everyone else does. Athena entered the mortal world? <laughs> and now she doesn't do that ever. Can you imagine? How does Athena manage never entering the mortal world? She doesn't have to, I guess. Everyone brings her everything she needs. And that creepy owl of hers? Apollo says it's her eyes out in the world. It's everywhere. Watching. So what, she just never leaves the building? Ah, uh, she'll go to the reliquary and places like that. Just never where mortals are. She wears a toga and calls cars iron horses. <laughs> uh. I suppose there's no point in putting it off. Do your thing. Take me to Olympus. Okay. Oh, uh, when you see Freddy, tell her I'm sorry I couldn't stick around for the movie. And mind if I say something? Sure. You've changed. I mean, from the person I met when I first came here. When, you know. You got it together really quick. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Oh, I can choose another tree. There you are, Grace. Do have a seat. Okay, Act Two is going on a lot longer than I anticipated, so we I might prefer to stand. Thanks. Soon. As you like. You've certainly been busy, haven't you? Everywhere I turn, there you are, including the reliquary. Oh. I'm uncertain how you got access, but even you must have realized it's off limits, particularly for your mortal friend. Am I not supposed to be proving my innocence? Would you prefer I did nothing? I'd prefer you didn't break any other rules in the meantime. Such as? Do you have a list I can read, or do you just make them up as you go? Hmm. You think our judgment was rash? It was. In truth, 
I worried that giving you time, letting us all get to know you, would make it harder in the end. I am sorry, Grace. You may not believe it, but I care deeply. I care about what happens to you and to all the idols. Do you really? Let's explore where all that caring has gotten them, shall we? You're holding on with a grip so tight, your knuckles are turning white. But that's not enough, is it? Every idol I've met is either lost or broken, or both. They're all slipping through your fingers. If you actually cared about them, you'd do something about it instead of sitting up here worrying about your precious rules. Zeus was the first to leave. King of the gods. And we don't even know what became of him. Vanished into the ether. Poseidon was next. Walked out into the seas. Never to be heard from again. Ares betrayed us. Hephaestus saved us. Hades was murdered. And by one of our own. The list goes on. So you add to it. I show up and you kill me off because you can't be too careful. We are dying, Grace. I don't mean diminishing or drifting apart. I mean our immortality is disappearing. Very soon now, the idols will be no more. We are a legacy that spans millennia, dating back to the very dawn of humankind. So yes, I care. I will do anything and everything in my power to avoid that fate. Even if it appears unfair. You know, it's too bad. <laughs> I've been an idol for five minutes and I've been out there solving problems you've all wrestled with for how long now? I could have helped you, Athena. I could have helped all of you. But you don't see that, do you? You're so busy holding on to what you have, you can't see what you're throwing away. I know we've put a great deal on your shoulders, Grace. I do. All I called you here to ask is that you please not make my job more difficult than it already is. If you have any other questions or concerns, now's the time to bring them up. Who has access to the reliquary? Is it anyone with a key, or...? Does it matter? You gained access, so clearly it is not difficult to get. Speaking of which, I don't suppose you'll tell me who gave you that key. The same person gave it to me who gave it to Calliope. And who gave it to Calliope, then? I see. Speaking of the reliquary, you went there, right? Once Hecate told you what happened? Mm. Yeah, I was not impressed by the delay. If you had known about that, the night Calliope died, would it have made a difference? Hmm. The chances are exceedingly small that you attacked her there, it's true. Yet, Calliope was weakened, which made her more vulnerable prey for an enterprising mortal. One she knew. Perhaps the incidents are connected, perhaps not. I cannot afford the risk of uncertainty, Grace. I'm sorry. What do you know of Pan? Pan? That's not a name I expected to hear. Been sniffing around you, has he? I have some suspicions, and I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Pan lurks at the edges because he likes it there, seeking out whatever profit he thinks he can get away with. <laughs> Avoid him, dear. Or he'll stick to you like gum to the bottom of your shoe. Okay, so you don't like Pan much. I get that. But do you think he could kill someone? <laughs> We've all killed, my dear. I was once a warrior queen, feared by mortals and gods alike. A another idol, I mean. Is that where your investigation has led you? To Pan? 
sort of. But I feel like I'm missing something important. Maybe the Goddess of Wisdom could help me out? It would be helpful to know what Calliope was doing at the Reliquary, but she's not available to ask. Not until you regain her memories, at least. Why not put off the trial until then? Seems like a good way to solve all this, yeah? <laughs> and trust what you decide to share? I think not. All right, let's talk about Medusa. Met her, have you? I just have to know why. Of all the people you could have working for you, why her? We could have left her behind. I elected to bring her because, in the end, she is my responsibility. But Medusa didn't want charity. She volunteered to work in my service. It's... It, it's trying at times. Now, if there isn't anything else... I guess I'll get back to my investigation. I am rooting for you, Grace. If there's another way to resolve this, any way at all, I will take it. Will you? Really? Good luck. Feel free to take a cookie on your way out. Don't take it personally, Grace. Athena's first instinct is to follow the rules whenever things get rough. As if she believes that if the idols don't blindly follow every rule to the letter, we'll dissolve into utter chaos. Well, is she right? Probably. It was a bit much, dragging me into her office just to complain about the investigation she forced me into. What could she hope to achieve? That I'd stop trying? Maybe she just wanted to find out what you know. I imagine she simply wanted to remind you not to rock the boat as you bail. At any rate, I'm afraid we're going to have to disappoint her again. Uh-oh. What now? You need to go back to the reliquary, Grace. You know, Athena said something to me. That it'd be nice to know what Calliope was doing there in the first place. And she's correct. It's the only piece of the puzzle we're missing. Calliope went there because she had a plan. But what plan? If she left clues behind, wouldn't Hecate have found them already? That's a really good question. We can't ask Calliope where her plan is. But you might be able to remember what she was doing there. Her memories? But I thought... That it will take years, yes. But if you go somewhere important to Calliope, or touch something special to her, You'll get flashes, feelings. Do you want Grace to go to the reliquary so she can have deja vu? I'm willing to wager the place Calliope met her fate has left its mark in Grace's psyche. We have only to uncover it. Last time Freddy and I were there, Hecate wouldn't let us into the reliquary. Not without Athena's permission. I'm certainly not suggesting we ask Athena for permission. Then you mean... A week ago, I would have said breaking into the reliquary was impossible. Yet it appears Hecate can be surprised. If her book says she will be. Let's hope the book says that again, I guess. Unless you've some other plan. I'm all ears, as they say. What about the alarms? I'm not eager to have Asterion chasing me through the fog. Calliope snuck in without setting off any alarms. At least at first. Well, I'll be following in Calliope's footsteps, won't I? What if I follow the wrong footstep and set them off? Then they discover you and we apologize profusely. Will not be a good look, though, just saying. Are you sure about this? You want me to wander around hoping something comes to me? I do know something about how memories work after the transition, but... No, I'm not certain. You want certainty? Wait until your trial. Without discovering more, the outcome of that is certain. What if Medusa is lying? What about Pan? We could look into him some more, couldn't we? Oh my, my, my. You're just full of ideas, aren't you? Do you have any suggestions regarding how we might go about doing that? <sighs> Deja vu it is. Let's say I do this. What am I hoping to find? 
some memory of who attacked Calliope, or why she was there, anything we could work with. I've spoken to almost all the idols, and every single one says they hadn't seen or heard from her. If she was keeping to herself, then why now? What started this? We're missing something important, Grace. What if Grace goes there, and the memory she sees is that she attacked Calliope? A Grace from the future. It'd be a twist. Right then. Back to the reliquary it is. Any idea how you want to do this, Grace? Because I'm game to help. Cool. I'm sure we can figure something out. I can't go in with you. Hecate would sense me right away. I will, however, stay close by. Now that doesn't mean you should take stupid risks. Don't be a fool, Grace. Why not? My life's on the line either way. Come on, the time for adventure is now. Oh, this will not end well. We're gonna get through this part, and if this isn't the end of Act Two, then Wait, I'm gonna stop sure it after right? we're done at the reliquary. Is that the right door? You're asking me like I'm supposed to know? It just feels like we're back outside again. Maybe that was some kind of portal, or or maybe we're right where we're supposed to be. Then we should be careful. Remember what the Minotaur said? Alarms. Magical defenses. None of which killed Calliope, we think. But sure, I hear you. How do we avoid getting lost? It's like a labyrinth. Oh, it is a labyrinth, but I've never had any trouble finding my way around. <laughs> hey, easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, no need to freak out. I'm a guardian, sure, but I'm not a monster. But, um, yeah, you know you're not supposed to be in here, right? I need this, Asterion. I have to figure out what Calliope did here. Please, can't you just let us look around? Oh, it's just... Kate would be so mad. She knows you're the sweetest, most thoughtful bull man there is. She'd understand. <sighs> I, I, I want to, but... I'd really appreciate it. I... I, I need to bring you back to Kate. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. Oh no. Uh, hey! Come back! Oi! Come back! Whew. Okay. I don't hear anything. I think I'm alright. I hope Freddy's okay. She better be. First things first, how do I do this? Where do I even start? Calliope must have been here. She could have stood in this very spot. Maybe if I just... focus. Weird, like I've definitely been here before. I don't get any feeling from that. Will I know it when I see it? Is that a weapon? A musical instrument? Hmm. Maybe it's both. What did Freddy say about mazes? Was it 
always go left? Or go left and then go right? <sighs> Is this an armory too? They should really charge for tours. It's kind of amazing. Freddy, are you out there? Can you hear me? What am I doing? All that'll do is tell everyone where I am. Interesting that she just called out like that. <laughs> uh, but these seem to be things of people that have died, like Poseidon's trident. I don't even know what language that is. She said Zeus had passed on, and then... Hades. Shouldn't that be in a museum somewhere? So, I, I mean, it kind of just, like, these relics seem like things that might have come from other idols. This is it. What I, if I would have picked Goliath the mirror the first here. time, would that have she made was a difference? She was standing right <laughs> here. And she... anything. I didn't even touch it, honest. Okay, then. Just jump into the mirror. What's happening? Why didn't it work? On them, they just keep coming. Yeah, I think they're like statues or something. <laughs> I don't think they're real people of any kind. know what she thought was going to happen, though. Is that good enough? Like, was a blood sacrifice all they needed? <laughs> but also, that would be how she got wounded, then. Oh, God. How... Oh Calliope, God, pretty. How Calliope got wounded. <sighs> By the gods. You summoned the Furies. What? Those beings were the Furies. Beyond all our laws. Not idols, but the embodiment of retribution. How did you draw them here? I didn't. There was a, a big mirror, but I... I didn't even touch it. There is only one mirror of which you could be speaking. That used by the goddess Nyx to contact the fates. Using the mirror would not have brought the Furies down upon you. Not unless the fates themselves decreed it. I don't care what brought them. They killed Freddy. You need to help her. I have no power over life and death, Grace. None of us have that. 
This was no defense or spell of the reliquaries. I do not have the power to summon the Furies, and I know none who do. You should consider yourself fortunate, Grace. They do not desist until retribution has been exacted. But now is when you leave. Pray the knowledge you obtained was worth the price. How can you say that? I didn't mean for this to happen. Your intentions are irrelevant, Grace. All choices have consequences. I didn't choose this! I wouldn't have let her... Come. There's nothing more to be done. Why would you just leave her body there? Why would you not? <laughs> okay. That seems a little interesting. Also, I don't know. I, f mm, I mean, she might be dead. Hold on, I'm gonna let it finish shaping up here. But also, so do well. Okay, so now we know how. Why? I'm sorry. I know. Now we know why she was stabbed. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one putting that together. But we'll see in Act Three, I guess. Maybe now we have to figure out why that. Um, why did she want the mirror? Like, why did she, why was she drawn to the mirror? Um, and also, like, why did the, why does that call those people out? I don't know. We'll see. It's a really interesting game, though. Although, I feel like, was there a way for me to have prevented that? <laughs> or does she have to die? Anyways... After I'm done with the first playthrough, I'll, I'll look at that again. But thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, if you like what you were watching, feel free to hit the subscribe button here on YouTube. Um, so you can stay up to date with what I do. As well as when I post the Act 3 episode of Stray Gods. I also have a Twitch that I do stream over on. Same username, so WiltingLily153. Uh, feel free to go follow me over there so you know when I stream. Um, and then lastly, I also have a Discord, which there will be a link to down in the description below. But with that, we'll see what happens next time. I hope you all have a really good morning, noon, or evening, depending on where you all are. And I will see you all next time.